This is Dr. Deming's red bead experiment. We use it at Hanford to illustrate the five core functions of ISMS, especially feedback. We use volunteers from the audience to produce white beads for the White Bead Corporation using many modern management techniques, such as numerical targets. The number three comes up several times during this exercise. We have monetary incentives and accountability and tabulated reports made to the president of the company. We also demonstrate some statistics. Many tools get abused and used during this exercise. We hope you find this video useful as a safety meeting topic or perhaps as a train the trainer video for those who would like to lead their own red bead experiment. We hope you find this experience entertaining but also educational. Good morning, I'm Steve Prevett, your foreman. I'd like to welcome all you prospective employees as employees of the White Bead Production Corporation. We do have a new contract at Hanford to produce white beads for the Department of Energy. And as part of your orientation, I would like to introduce the president of the company, Mr. Stephen Byers. Welcome, candidates. We look forward to uh, completing our screening process and selecting a number of workers. As the foreman has mentioned, we do have a new contract that uh, calls for increased production. We need new workers. We have used our HR department to screen the candidates and we are confident that we have now have a pool of above average workers only, which is very important, of course. Uh, with that, I would like to have uh, the foreman select the final candidates, and let's get started with the production. Yes, you all were given pink slips as you entered this room, or some of you were given pink slips, at least the lucky ones. Our job postings are as follows. We need six willing workers. They must be willing to put forth best efforts. Continu continuity of your job is dependent upon your performance, your performance alone. Educational requirements are minimal, and experience in pouring beads is not necessary. Now, there should be six people out there with willing worker number one, two, three, four, five, and six badges. Ah, one very excited willing worker there. Come on forth. There's got to be five other excited willing workers, so come on down. Line up right along here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, we have three not so willing workers out there someplace. Come on. You're not making a good first impression upon your management. Come on. Come on, Dan. Okay, I think we have our six workers. Line up in order, one through six. That's part of the screening process here. Can you count to six? Of course, the people that really need to count are our QA inspectors. We have two QA inspector sheets out there. They must be able to distinguish red from white and be able to count to 20. These people only have to count to six. Experience is not necessary. So my two QA inspectors, come on forward. Come on up here. Two QA inspectors. You're a little short on workers. I am. Where'd my sixth worker go? I saw six people up. Okay, but inspectors cannot mingle with the workers. Inspectors come over here. These are the two inspector change chairs. Now, I do have a sixth willing worker out there. One, two, three, four, five. Number three. Who's got willing worker number three? Okay, I hear Tom Shilpnik's out there. Oh, no, we found our three. Okay. Willing worker number three. Take your th spot in the third place there. We're back on track here. Very good. Now, we have our QA department that came forward. We kept them separate from the workers because this is very important, and we don't want the workers to talk either because that decreases productivity. I will point out our increased productivity poster. And if you spend your time talking, you are decreasing productivity. Now, I should have an inspector general out there. The inspector general should have the same qualifications as the inspectors, but must have a loud voice <laughs> because you talk. Now, you come forth and stand behind your two inspectors. You should make sure that they are very ethical people because the quality of our product depends upon our QA department. I need an accurate count of the beads that we produce. And, of course, to record that count, there should be a recorder out there. Somebody should have a pink slip that says recorder. Will the recorder please come forward and sit next to the view graph machine here? Ah, very good. Very qualified-looking recorder. I'm sure you are good in addition and division, and you must be sharp. Sit right there. 
Here is your writing utensil. And here is payroll, because next thing we must do is record our payroll. We are going to have the willing workers state their first name and spell it, and then I will repeat it to you, and you will record it on the sheet. Willing worker number one, your first name. Kurt, C-U-R-T. Say that again. Kurt, C-U-R-T. C-U-R-T. Yes, now you may write it. <laughs> Whaling worker number two. Marty, M-A-R-T-Y. M-A-R-T-Y. Now my trouble worker here, number three. <laughs> my name is Ed. E-D. <laughs> E-D. Don't get ahead of me. Now procedure compliance is very important here, you understand. Don't get ahead of me. Worker number four. I'm Debbie, D-E-B-B-I-E. D-E-B-B. You sure it's not Y? It's I E. Okay. <laughs> Welling worker number five. Ken. K E N. K E N. <laughs> and number six. Sid. S I D. S I D. Like those simple names. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, we have our payroll. Now, of course, a very important thing is you're on the job training. We have a QA program here. We have our BA quality worker poster. I have already pointed out our productivity program. We have a performance incentive to increase productivity. You all understand this, increase productivity. And of course, we have take pride in your work and do it right the first time.